Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we have a very, very big TSM update to talk about. We are finally finding out some more information about exactly what is going to be going on with TSM during the upcoming lock-in tournament, which as of the time that I'm recording this video is just eight days away from starting, which is crazy. But also so so exciting after a long off season um you know especially like when north america doesn't make it super far at worlds that just makes off season even longer i am so ready for competitive league of legends i am so ready to just be laying in bed or sitting at my computer all day watching lec lcs for 10 hours straight it is just so much needed right now um i am starting to feel a little bit better so that is good um you know expect tons more content coming on the way especially as the 2022 season starts up uh and it's going to be really really fun but uh, as far as the tsm situation we had heard recently um that you know cloud nine is having all these visa issues uh we had heard that tsm was likely even having some of these same visa issues as well so the question was are tsm's players going to be back in time for the lock-in tournament talking about kaido and shenny um and are those guys going to be back in time for the start of the spring split you know we still don't really know there um but then also say kaido and shenny are having visa issues which is pretty likely at this point with um just visa issues in general and then throwing in COVID as well on top of everything um will uh tsm field a roster of some lcs players and some academy players just academy players what's going to happen we talked about the clip yesterday um of spika saying he thinks uh or, or he assumes that tsm will be going with a mix of lcs and academy players um but today we actually got word what tsm's official lineup for the lock-in tournament is going to be so that's what we're going to be talking about Drop a like if you guys do enjoy this. I would appreciate it so, so much. Subscribe to today on all my latest content. Uh, and consider checking out the first link in the description below or the boxes underneath for the new merch we just launched. Uh, some really cool pieces, and it's an awesome way to help support my content and my channel. With that being said, let's get right into this. So, uh, again, we were just wondering exactly what the TSM lineup is going to be. We did get this from Tactical, you know? Time to go back to LA. My stay in Korea was nice. And this got some people excited for the fact that hey, we're probably going to see some LCS players in the lock-in tournament because um, one of the options, uh, if we didn't see LCS players in the lock-in tournament, if TSM did just decide to roll out their academy team, one of the options was going to be the TSM main team could stay over in Korea. At least the four players that were in Korea, obviously, Huni, Tactical, Shenny, and Kaido. Spika was still in Los Angeles. But the four players that were in Korea could stay over in Korea. They could keep boot camping. They could keep playing Korean solo queue. They could keep scrimming uh, and all that stuff until the start of spring split. All come over together and be ready to go. But since Tactical is coming back to the United States... Uh, Obviously, that's not happening. Obviously, the TSM main team all isn't staying over there. So if they're not all staying over there, and at least Tactical's coming back, Speak is going to be here. You assume Hooney's coming back as well, even though we haven't heard word from him. I don't know if anyone knows if he's back in the United States or not. We kind of assume that, hey, we might see a roster of Hooney, Spika, Takeover, Tactical, and Yursan. That's what I was leaning toward. That's what I thought made the most sense, especially when Spika came out and said, yeah, you know, let's see some LCS players and Academy players put together. If you have uh, Hooney, Spika, and Tactical here, they should be playing. That made sense to me, but... The official word we got today from the TSM Twitter account, roster update ahead of the LCS lock-in. They said, an announcement from TSM FTX. Due to multiple issues related to COVID, our LCS roster has not had the opportunity to come together as a team to practice and prepare for the upcoming lock-in tournament. In addition, due to international travel restrictions related to the pandemic, Kaido and Shenny are not likely to arrive in LA uh, before the start of the lock-in tournament. Our academy team, however, has been boot camping together overseas and has shown strong scrim results during the offseason. Rather than create a combined roster of players that are available and have to change them out mid-tournament, um, that's kind of weird to me because even if you did have a, a roster of combined LCS and academy, you wouldn't have to change them out mid-tournament. You, you could, you wouldn't have to. Shenny and Kaido could kind of... Um, you know, get used to the United States, they could shake off some jet lag, they could start playing some solo queue, they wouldn't have to sub in mid tournament. So that's kind of weird wording there by TSM to me. Um, we, in consultation with the LCS, another very, very interesting part of this whole thing, have made the decision to utilize our academy team to participate in the LCS lock-in tournament. We have been working for weeks to find a solution to this challenge and are excited to find an option that gives both teams the opportunity to prepare together and allows us uh, to participate in lock-in, where we are excited to showcase our academy team 
This is interesting in a whole lot of different ways. Um, overall, I really question this decision. I think it is a very, very weird decision. I think what TSM is thinking and, and how I read this is TSM expects Shenny and Kaido to come back sometime during the lock-in tournament. They do expect them to be here for the start of spring split, and they expect them to be here with a little bit of time midway through the lock-in tournament. I think the lock-in tournament's like three weeks long or something like that. Um, and, and the reason I think that is because not only are they saying we don't want to make changes to our roster mid-tournament, which would mean those players coming back mid-tournament, but the fact that they're saying they want both of their teams to have a chance to prepare together means they also assume that uh, the whole TSM starting lineup is going to be here in the United States together with time to prepare for the start of the spring split. Because one reason why people are kind of critical of this decision by TSM is the fact that Huni, Spica, and Tactical are going to be here in the United States, in Los Angeles, and Kaido and Chenny are going to be over in China or Korea or wherever they, they end up while they're waiting to come over. And what are those three main players going to be doing? The lock-in tournament has started. All the other LCS teams, except for Cloud9, uh, and even Cloud9 has been scrimming together, you know, abroad and everything, um, except minus Fudge, but all the other LCS teams have been scrimming together. They're all going to be playing together during the lock-in tournament. And what are these three members of TSM going to be doing in the meantime? They could be playing the lock-in tournament and at least getting some games together. You know, Spica hasn't got to play with Huni. Uh, you know, he didn't go to the Korean boot camp. Spica hasn't got to play with Tactical. He didn't go to the Korean boot camp. Um, so why have these players, why have these three players just sit out and chill and play solo queue? They can't be scrimming. They don't have two-fifths of their main team. You know, the academy team's going to be busy with lock-in. Shenny and Kaido aren't even going to be here. Why would Huni, Tactical, and Spica not be playing these lock-in games? That is what I'm very, very skeptical of. Now, obviously, it's going to depend on how long Kaido and Chenny take, but if they take, like, two whole weeks, why would you not take those main TSM players and have them play in the meantime? I think this is really, really weird. I was pretty shocked by this decision, again, especially after Spica came out and said that playing with a mixed roster was a possibility. I'm very, very skeptical of TSM's decision to just keep three of their main players sitting around doing essentially nothing, again, not scrimming and not playing um, until the, the other members of their roster get over here. I think this is a very, very rough decision. Um, and yeah, especially when I'm pretty sure, that, I don't know if this is confirmed yet either, but I think it's confirmed that Cloud9 is going to be fielding a mixed roster. You know, Blabber, Fudge, uh, some of these guys are still going to be playing while they wait for, um, you know, Berserker and Summit to be able to come over. It's just another instance of me really, really agreeing with the direction Cloud9's going and agreeing with a ton of decisions that their management and coaching staff is making and really not liking the direction TSM is going and disagreeing with so many decisions that their coaching staff and upper management is making. Like, I really think C9 and TSM are going two different directions. They're all making, you know, pretty much polar opposite decisions. And I consistently am finding myself skeptical and... and, and just pessimistic about TSM while being uh, optimistic with Cloud9, and, and I really just kind of vibe and, and align myself with the decisions that they are making. Um, also, at the end of the day, it'll be a great opportunity for the TSM Academy team, but, but make no mistake, this is an Academy team, and really TSM, from what I've seen, wasn't even expected to be a top Academy team coming into the season. I think they're supposed to be a pretty middle-of-the-pack Academy team. I know people are excited to see TakeOver. I know Yursan is a beast, but like Viper, Hyper, some of these guys... I don't think they're going to have that great of showings. Now, TSM does have the easier group, you know. C9 will have their mixed bag team. They'll get to play against FlyQuest. Maybe they'll be able to pick up a win or two. Um, but this does kill a lot of the hype, obviously, of getting to see the new TSM lineup. Even if I didn't get to see the new TSM lineup, I'd still love to see Spica, Tactical, all these guys. Um, so I don't know. This this does just kind of suck for not only TSM and TSM fans, but LCS fans in general. We want to see a good lock-in tournament. We want to see the best of the best taking each other head on, and, and that's just not what we're going to get. Another interesting part here to the statement is, you know, they made this decision in consultation with the LCS. There was a rumor going around that the LCS was really pushing teams to not play their academy players, to not play their full academy lineups, that the LCS wants a lock-in tournament to be a big boom, that they want great viewership, that they have sponsorship obligations, that um, you know there is some incentive to making that decision. And I never knew how true or not that was. Obviously, the LCS isn't forcing TSM to do anything, but they are saying that this decision was made in consultation with the LCS, which at the end of the day, obviously, we don't know exactly what that means, um, but that's kind of interesting as well. But 
yeah, overall, this is a really, really disappointing statement and announcement for me to hear from TSM. I don't really understand it, and I do think it is a bad decision. But again, TSM will have a chance to prove us wrong, you know, come spring, come summer, if they are able to perform. But if they don't, um, you know, I think this is going to, especially if they get off to like a slow start in spring, I think this is going to definitely, um, you know, lead to people questioning what exactly is going on over at TSM. But that is pretty much everything for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate it so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Uh, what do you think about the Academy team playing for TSM? Think it's a good decision, bad decision? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.